Yo, we're back with Disco's favorite segment of the show, the Lucha Libre Minute with Larry Dallas. Boom. What's up, boys? So this was actually a very newsworthy week that I think even Disco will be. Oh, yeah. I, there's a lot of stuff I'm interested in here. There's so, a lot going on a, here. Yes, yes. So obviously, There's a lot of stuff where I could put Cody in on, on black <laughs> or just, you know, find Go out what, what the story so, is. Here. So the lead story, obviously, uh, earlier in the week, uh, like I think like maybe like a day after we taped last week's uh, segment, uh, Roosh announced that he has quit Triple A, him and his quit. father. He quit. 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 That's the and, word. And uh, there has been Abruptly no quit. There quit. has been no follow up or comment from either party. La Parca or L. A. Park rather has been on Twitter. And uh, the best I can read from the Mexican wrestling fans is that they're that that Roosh is getting all the heat here from the uh, from the audience out there. You know, basically being a coward, scared to face. You know, L. A. Park, all this other stuff. So I guess the question that everyone's waiting for now. Wait a minute, he's is, not the uh, only guy that got that quit. His father did, but his father's like, you know, I mean, that's like. Wait, I, I wait. I'm, I'm, I must be misinformed here. I'm, I'm looking at it. I had a tweet here that said Roosh and Bandito quit too. No, no, Bandito worked a crash show. We went over this a couple of segments ago, a couple of uh, weeks ago. It might have been the week you were out. So Bandito worked a crash show. Crash is obviously the the, the rival of Triple A. So if you work a crash show, typically your your situ your, your relationship with AAA ends. So uh, there's Bandito no forbidden door in Mexico, only forbidden door between Mex well, there's a uh, forbidden Mexican AAA and, and uh, what you call it, between uh, U.S. C C CMLL, Crash, and AAA have very, you know, still reg regimented, don't work for this company, don't work for that company. It's why it's why a lot of the guys, a lot of the luchadors on AEW oh, can't work no, for no, It isn't just side. that. It do, isn't just, do, wait a, a minute, it, it, wait, wait one second, let me okay. give you a sidebar. It isn't just work for another company, they're working for our direct competitors. Who would right. let that? happen yeah but you want Nobody. that, that but, yeah, no 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 but i'm but saying we've been kind of you've been very very uh not not i want to use adamant but eager to to you know to basically just open all the forbidden doors like okay you don't listen to anything i say on the show bro uh, like, what happened with crash is very simple we, i, we, I got okay. listen 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 because you obviously don't i got crash to work with triple a okay and then there's two guys that are persona non grata, just like CM Punk and some other people are in WWE and some people are in AEW and every promotion that there exists because they didn't do business the right way. One guy is Octagon. He can never work in AAA because he's got mega heat with the owners. Okay? okay. And the other guy is Santo because he, he, um, he sued the owner of AAA and tried to put her in jail. Okay. So they cannot work with us. Crash knew this. Trying and they to wait, trying to put her in jail. Right. Really? Because <laughs> right, because they they had, I like yeah. to hear that story someday. Like, I said know? it on the show. I don't. Yeah. But, but you don't listen. Anyways, right. so basically, what happened was is they used his likeness on a DVD, uh -huh. and he said that they didn't ask for his permission, which is. But anyways, and so um uh um what was I saying? Uh, we're talking about the, the promotions working together. Right. So crash. then crash. Knowing this, booked not just Santo, and I told them, bro, you can't book Santo or AAA is not going to work with you anymore. Well, it's too late. I already gave him the money. I go, then sell him to another promoter. But if you use him, we can't work together. All this hard work I did to get us to work together after so many years is going to go down the drain. Little did I know that he also had Octagon on the same show. I found out later when the poster came out, and my boss was like, why the f are we working with somebody that's working with two people that he knows he can't work with? And I go, I don't know. So he called him and he said, we're not working anymore. That's the reason. That's pretty crazy that there's a, that the, the lack of communication is like, you know, that there's no lack of communication. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. The wrestlers, like, wouldn't they be like, uh, hey, can we, are, are we allowed to work here? So, the, or they just like go like like. Not they know that if you, that, they already right. know, bro. Everybody knows. The wrestlers right. know everything. They're not dumb. They, right. When they don't want to listen, they. It's funny because wrestlers will always tell me, "Oh, I didn't know." I go, "What's so funny? You know how much everybody else makes. You know this. You know that. You know that. But when it's convenient, you don't know. Wrestlers know everything. We all gossip, bro. You were in the 
business. Right. Everybody knows that if you work for AAA, you can't work with Consejo. Everybody knows that if you work with Consejo, you can't work with AAA. Everybody knows that everybody from Consejo can't work with Blue Demon. They can't work with Rush. They can't work with Santo. Everybody knows that if you work with AAA, you can't work with Santo or not the gun. Everybody. It's not miscommunication, dude. Right. I, I will say this. that uh, Well, but here's my point. So Bandito, Bandito, okay. after, you know, I've been using him and I was putting him in a feud and he specifically asked me for two things and I was going to give it to him. He decided to go work for Crash. And I'm like, bro, you don't even have the courtesy of telling me. He goes, whoa, it's too late to, you know, get off the card. I go, well, then we can't work anymore. I go, you don't, you're not a man of your word, you know? Right. And also he had the very bad habit, which I find very unprofessional of every time I'm looking for him for work, he doesn't answer the phone. Like I'm doing him a favor. I'm not going to hunt you down to give you work. And he did that when he was in ring of honor too. A lot of these wrestlers, when they go to United States, they get a big head. They start charging with their ego, not what the market can support. They don't give a because they're in the United States. But when ring of honor closed, oh, there they were, you know, looking for work. What happens if an AW, they cut you, you get injured or something happens. I'm not going to forget, you know? And right. so, you know, that's bandito. Now rush, you know, there was a miscommunication because one of the things is he didn't even talk to me and we have a really good relationship and I'm actually the one that helped him get into the United States. But, um, you know, he was mad because we weren't using him enough. But one of the things is, and Larry would know this, they had a feud. I don't know if you remember the last feud they had, who it was with. Oh, Jeff Chair. No, that was Hector Garza. Uh, the last Roosh feud was... No, Ingo Benables, the, the trio, was against the Dynamite Brothers. Now, oh, one yes, of them... Yes, 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 okay. yes. N now, one of the Dynamite Brothers is the guy that they put yeah. in jail for supposedly choking that girl wrestler. So it was very hard to do anything because this guy's in jail. I thought he was going to get out quick. So I was waiting for him to get out. So I wasn't giving him work. Plus, Rush, bro, he charges a lot of money. And it's like, bro, you're not in the United States. I have a budget. And when I put you on the show, you eat up one fourth of my thing. I'd rather bring in two or three other wrestlers. And you know what I'm saying? So I thought what he did was very unprofessional. And I also had another wrestler try to pull that with me not too recently. And I'm not going to forget it either. But, you know, they get power. They're in the United States and they abuse their power and they do like this. And he got a lot of heat. Cool. Because, bro, you're the one that's looking bad. You're the one that's pulling out. But here's something that he said, and I want to ask Larry a question. Sure. Did you read when he said, oh, Parker, we don't need to be in AAA because we can find a serious promoter to do our uh, hair versus mask I, match? I saw that, yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. Be honest. Do you think we don't have the money to pay them? Uh, I'm pretty sure you do, especially with a triple mania gate. I, I'm, All right. I'm 90 number sure. one. Number two. Who has a bigger platform than us in Mexico for them to do that match? The only th and, and I could be completely wrong on this, besides Triple Mania, would be an Arena Mexico match, but Roosh can't work okay. CML up, right? Okay, all right. So, right. so let me tell you something and that people don't know. We've been trying to get them to do this match for three years. They don't want to do it, right. okay? So that's all posturing it re generate a buzz and it reminds me a lot of and you're probably familiar with this how many years has octagon and forza guerrera been saying they're going to do their mask aren't they doing it again this year they're building up to now in the indies too, forever yeah. forever these guys have been doing saying this is for like six years yeah they don't want to do it it's all now so now this might be a little too inside baseball and let me, let me see, i, I want to I no. no. sorry just go right point here because i'm wondering if this is the, their if this is like their philosophy right is it they're Who's probably there, thinking, the wrestlers? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm just yeah. wondering if like they did, they decided to basically just ruin the relationship with AAA. Like like they right. they they knew going to crash that they're they're going to be done with AAA, right. correct? Okay. Right. Him and another and guy I'm, called Flamita. They're okay. Both Who is the promoter of AAA? In uh, in uh. In, no, no, that's the yeah, crash. Crash, yeah, crash, crash. Who's the promoter? Crash. Of crash? Is, his name is Nacho. Uh, uh, I forgot his last name, but he's a super mark. Yeah. Okay. This sounds like. That uh, so who are the guys that do, do the hair versus Matt you were just talking about? So that's that's Roosh and L.A. Park. They I yeah, bet two you huge they names. think I bet you they think 
that they could work this promoter because he's kind of a mark to get right. like a way paid way more for the hair versus mess than than like you guys are paying at the expense of losing their work with AAA. Uh, like gonna, possibly bro, like, not, let, let me tell you why I don't think that's true because number one, they're not going to get way more than we can pay. Nobody's yeah. going to. Maybe they AAA. think. Maybe they think that's they number can. one. They know. That's they what, know. That's what I'm they're, saying. You know? Number two. Why would you would lose your mask on a house show right. that only a couple of people are going to see or a thousand, five thousand people when millions can see it and internationally on TV? Right. And, and L.A. Park Absolutely. losing his mask would be a, a huge, huge thing. Um, Even if Rush lost his hair, that would be huge. Exactly. Either one. And, and, and the crowd would go nuts for it. And it would be, you know, as much as Omega yeah. and Vikingo is the, the match for the American audience, Rush and L.A. Park, you know, it's just that that's. I, huge you know, I in Mexico, it, huge. Yeah, it probably bigger years. than Vikingo and Omega, and so, and and the thing is, I like Rush a lot. Like we get along, you know. But you know, a lot of these younger cats, you know, they're they're gonna learn sooner or later that like this is gonna come back to haunt them because this is like a wheel of fortune. What goes up will come down sooner or later. Now, now there's no now like. Does Mexico? Do they not get a contract for like three dates with these guys when you do these tournaments? No, because you know you don't expect somebody to do some. That's like this. that's fine too. I just I just. But I will say it. this. I will say this. They should do it. I've I've said it before. You should sign yeah. people to contracts, even if it's a, you know, just for that match. Whatever. So this doesn't happen because we we've, we've had people try try similar before. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And so I think that will happen in the future. You know. Okay. Um, now the other big news out of the week was that the TV taping this weekend got canceled due to weather. Was that because that yeah. area had a well, no, 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 not not weather. The pro- problem was is that if you remember, you weren't at volcano. the show, but I was. Uh, two weeks ago, the you know the volcano Popocatépetl, yep. you know, no, erupted, and yep. it's through ash, and they had to close down the Mexico City airport, and you know, oh, I yeah. got stuck in the I got stuck in the airport eleven hours yes, okay I they're that. afraid it might erupt on sunday again so to take precautionary measurements they canceled it now that's, so that's gonna leave that's, us a week short on stuff in the can right so what are we just gonna probably do a best of show for the last week of tv or no they'll they'll make it up somehow you know they they bro right. it's very easy to go um, to another now, place now, and far, do it as far as the roosh thing do, do, do we think that match is gonna happen triple mania or we don't know yet like this is a wait and yeah. see thing Next He's week. talking with Dorian. I think Dorian will will fix it. it you know, I think Roosh. I think Roosh was mad. You know, and you shouldn't be tweeting when you're mad. You know, yeah. got oh. off and said, "Fuck it." You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. hi, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, um, you know, who knows? I mean, like I said, I like him. He's very. Easy. I work very easily with him. You know. Yeah. But this is not a smart thing to do. You know. Does this affect Realistico at all? Because they're because they're brothers. No. Okay. No. 